This screencast covers the material of Module 2, Lesson 8, using some examples from the problem set. I'll also give you a little bit of advice on your word problems, but today we're doing something in addition. I'm going to give you a couple problems to try on your own, and we'll explain that when we get uh, further along. The instructions, which you don't see on this page, uh, tell us to, one, estimate the product, and then find the actual product using the standard algorithm. Without getting into a lot of elaborate procedures here, we should know by now that we can easily round 739, and we want to round it to its greatest place, which is the hundreds, so we're going to round it to the nearest hundred, and that would round to 700. We're going to put our multiplication sign in, and 442 would round to 400. We're going to multiply that out. No, don't want to put that comma in yet. And we're going to put in the appropriate number of zeros. Now we'll put our comma in. And our answer should be pretty close to 280,000. It's always a good procedure. It only takes a couple minutes to, or even less than a minute really, to do your routing and estimating. And it's a good way to make sure that your answers are fairly close to accurate. Let's go on. We're now going to multiply. We start by multiplying uh, from the ones place. So let's do that. We have 2 times 9 is 18. We're going to regroup that one. We have 2 times 3 is 6, plus 7, or plus 1 is 7. And now we're going to multiply 2 times 7, and we get 14. Let's now go on to the next place. We're now multiplying from the tens place. So whatever we multiply, we're multiplying by 4 tens. And we need to put our 0 in the ones place before we get started. Common mistake, don't forget to do that. Let's begin. I now have 4 times 9, 4 tens times 9 ones, and I get 36, so we're going to regroup that 3, and we're going to multiply 4 times 3, that's 12, plus 3 is 15, regroup our 1, and 4 times 7 is 28, plus 1 is 29. All right, we need to go one more place because since our factor on the bottom has three digits, three non-zero digits, we're going to have three partial products. So now we are multiplying from the hundreds place, so we need to put in a zero in the ones place and a zero in the tens place. Well, this is kind of easy. I've noticed that in both cases here, I'm multiplying by 4 in the tens place and 4 in the hundreds place. So I don't have to work very hard here. I can simply copy down those digits because they're going to be the same, except they're going to be shifted over one more place. So our least digit will be in the hundreds place. Take advantage of these uh, little uh, gifts, so to speak. So I have my 6, my 5 my 9, and my 2. So I have three partial products, and now I'm going to find the sum of my partial products. I have 8 plus 0 plus 0 is 8. 7 plus 6 is 13. Regroup. I have 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. Plus 1 is 16 regroup my 1. I have 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. Regroup once again. 2 plus 9 is 11, plus 1 is 12. Regroup one more time. And one, 2 plus 1 is 3. We'll put in our comma. We see 326,638. Well, we have the same number of digits here. This number is a fair amount larger, but we have to remember that we rounded both of these factors down so that we know that our answer is going to be greater than 
280,000. So that's a reasonable answer. Let's continue with another example. Okay, another example here. This one's similar to the other one, except now we have one factor with four digits. Now you'll notice that I took the four-digit factor and put it on the top. We'll explain why in a minute. Let's start with our rounding. We need to round to the nearest hundred for the first factor. And that rounds to ten hundreds. We went from nine hundreds to ten hundreds. Ten hundreds is one thousand. The second factor, we're going to round to the thousands place. So that becomes three thousand. We'll do our multiplication. I'm going to just write the product down below this. So I have three and six zeros. And that becomes three million. So we'll look for uh, a answer someplace close to three million. Now, why did I place this four-digit factor up top? Well, if I put it on the bottom, I would have four partial products, and it's much easier to deal with three partial products. Remember, I can change the order of these factors using the commutative property. Note we also have a zero in our uh, zero in one of our factors here, and uh, that's something to note as well. Let's get be let's begin. So I'm now going to multiply seven times five is thirty-five. Regroup seven times zero is zero plus three is three. 7 times 1 is 7, and 7 times 3 is 21. We have our first partial product. Now again, we're going to multiply from the tens place, and when we multiply from the tens place, we need to put a 0 in the ones place, because there will be no ones. So, let's begin. I have 8 times 5 is 40, and we regroup that 4. I have 8 times 1, or excuse me, 8 times 0 is 0, add 4, and I get my 4. 8 times 1 is 8, no need to regroup, and 8 times 3 is 24. So we now have our third, or second partial product. Let's do the final one, where we're multiplying from the hundreds place. So since we're multiplying by hundreds, we will have no ones, we will have no tens. All right, 9 times 5 is 45, regroup my 4. 9 times 0 is 0, plus 4 is 4. 9 times 1 is 9, and 9 times 3 is 27. We have three partial products. We'll find the sum. Five in the ones, three in the tens. Seven plus four is eleven, plus five is sixteen. Regroup. One plus eight is nine, plus four is thirteen, plus one is fourteen. Continuing. Need to regroup. We have. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go backwards this time because I see a compatible pair. One plus nine is ten. Ten plus four is fourteen, and fourteen plus two is sixteen. Regroup. Two plus seven is nine. Plus one is ten. Regroup. And th two plus one is three. We'll put in our commas, and we can see that our product, our actual product, is very close to our estimate here. One more example, and then we'll talk about homework. Okay, for our final example, we have 530 times 2,075. Let's first do our estimating, then we'll discuss some of the uh, interesting things about this problem. So I'm going to round first both factors. 530 rounds to 500. And 2,075 rounds to 2,000. 
I know that 2 times 5 is 10. I know that I need to tack on 5 more zeros. And we put in our commas. And the answer should be near 1 million. Let's now start with our problem. Now, note that I changed the order again. I didn't want, want that four-digit number on the bottom because if I did it that way I would end up with four partial products I would like to avoid that if possible so uh, we change the order using the commutative property the other thing I know about this problem is I have zero in the ones place and so if I multiply zero times five I get zero, zero times seven I get zero, zero times zero I get zero, zero times two I get zero. Some of you might be more comfortable putting in all those zeros. I guess I could. Uh, I usually don't personally. We can skip that but if it helps you keep track well so be it. So let's put in our zeros. Now I'm going to multiply from the tens place. So I put in my zero because I'll have no ones. And I go three times five is fifteen. Regroup my one. Three times seven is twenty-one. Plus one is twenty-two. Regroup my two. Five, uh, three times zero is zero. Plus two is two. And three times two is six. Moving along to our hundreds place, I put in zeros in both the ones and the tens place because when I multiply by hundreds, there will be no ones, there will be no tens. Let's begin. 5 times 5 is 25. We'll regroup the 2. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 2 is 37. Regroup my 3. 5 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3. And 5 times 2 is 10. Okay, let's take those partial products and add them up. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. And we have the next place where we have 0 plus 5 plus 0 is 5. And the hundreds place, 2 plus 5 is 7. And the next place over, the thousands place, is 2 plus 7 is 9. Three plus, 6 plus 3 is 9. And we have a 0 and a 1. We'll put in our commas. And we can see that our estimate tells us that that's a reasonable answer. All right. About the homework. The homework is pretty straightforward. They're not multi-step problems. But they're going to ask you about Okay, they're going to ask you to do some estimating here. So the main thing to remember is we're not looking for the exact answer. We're looking for an estimate or we want to talk about the reasonableness of an answer. We decide if an answer is reasonable by rounding factors. And the next one is we want to know about how many books are printed. Again, do the rounding and then do the operation. But let's get on to our last part of this uh, today. Something new. Today what I'm going to do is uh, have a try it yourself section. And what I'm going to do is get this problem started. I'm going to tell you what to do. And then I'm going to have you pause. I'm going to allow a moment so you can pause. Work out the problem yourself on pencil and paper. And then hit the play button again to see how you did. Alright, so remember, first we want to do some estimating by rounding, and then we want to solve the actual problem. You can hit pause now. Alright, I assume that you paused this, and now that you're playing it to check your work. So let's start by estimating our product. We have 600 times 300 because that's what they round to and I end up with 180,000. Let's do the problem. 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 4 is 14. 5 times 6 is 30 plus 1 
is 31. On to our second partial product. Multiplying from the tens place, so we put a zero in the tens place. 3 times a is 24. Regroup the 2. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. 3 times 6 is 18. Now from the hundreds place, two zeros because there will be no ones and no tens. Again, we have a little gift here, right? Uh, we can look at our, our partial product from the tens place, and we can apply what we saw there to the hundreds place. So I've got my second zero here, and all I have to do is uh, copy each one of those. And then we'll find our product. So we have zero in the ones. 8 in the tens. I have 13 in the ones, regroup. I have 3 plus 8 is 11, plus 8 is 19, plus 1 is 20. Put a 0 there, regroup my 2. And I'm going to go upside up from the bottom up because I see 8 and 2 are compatible. 8 and 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11, regroup. And 1 plus 1 is 2, and put in our comma. And we see that, well, that, that's pretty close. We have the same number of digits. But again, since we rounded both factors down, we can see that we can, we can see that because we rounded both factors down, that this estimate is going to be less than the actual product. So that, that's a reasonable answer. Let's go and do another one. Again, it's going to be a try it yourself. So you're going to take it, do it on pencil and paper. Uh, pause, or pause it, then do it on pencil and paper, and then we'll play it again to see if you did it correctly. All right, here we go. The instructions are first round to find the estimated product, then do the problem out. You can hit pause now, and when you're done, hit the play button again to check your work against mine. Okay, I assume you've finished the problem by now, so we're going to now uh, find our estimated product. So I have 2,000 times 500. Notice that we rounded them both down significantly, so whatever our estimate is, it's going to be much less. It's going to be less than the um, actual product. So I'm going to multiply, tack on my five zeros, put in my commas. The answer should be more than a million. Let's do the problem. 5 times 3 is 15. Regroup. 5 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. 5 plus 4 is 20. Regroup that too. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. All right, now to the tens place. Again, putting in that zero because we will have no ones. And we're going to multiply 3 times 4 is 12. Regroup the 1. And again, 4 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. 4 times 4 is 16. Regroup my 1. And 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. All right, let's uh, look at the next one. You notice we had a 5 in the 1's place and the 5 in the 100's place. Let's use that to help ourselves out. I'll put in my two uh, zeros here because I'm multiplying from the 100's place, and I can simply copy my digits now. 5, 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay, let's find our product. 5 in the 1's place, 3 in the 10's place. 6 in the hundreds place, I get 9 in the thousands place, I have 1 plus 9 is 10, regroup, I get a 2 plus 1 is 3, and we have our 1 here, and indeed, it's a reasonable answer, we knew that the answer was going to be greater than 1 million, we get 1,309,635, a reasonable answer.